So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today we have the patch notes for the latest update to Elden Ring, the 1.06 patch. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so major changes included in the latest update. Let's get into it. Additional Elements added the function to send summoning signs to summoning pools in multiple areas, including distant areas. That is pretty cool, guys. When sending a co op sign to uh, distant areas with this function, summoning pools in Margrim Palace will be excluded. Well, that makes sense. Added the function to invade a larger area, including distant areas. Added a new way to advance White Mass Rose questline of then participating in multiplayer invasion by defeating a new NPC. So this is probably for people who play offline. So that's pretty cool. That should work now. Uh, if you want to get to Mugrim Palace via using the uh, Pure Blood Knights medal that you see from the White Face Varies or White Mass Varies questline, you should be able to do it now if you play offline. Okay, so balance changes. Added the following adjustments to great sword, curved great swords, and great hammers. Reduce the time it takes for rolling to become possible after an attack. Jump attack, dual wield attack, and attacks while mounted, not included. Increase the motion speed of strong attack and charge attack. Mounted attacks, not included. Increase guard counters motion speed. Increase the attack speed of grey axes and reduce the time it takes for rolling to become possible after an attack. Jump attack, dual wield attack and attacks while mounted are not included. Increase rolling distance when player has light equipped load. Increase the hitbox of Cypher's Patar's weapon skill, Unblockable Blade. Increase the range of Ashfall, Glintstone Pebble and Glintstone Dark Projectile while decreasing the damage and the staggered power. Decrease the travel distance and invincibility frames of Ash of War, but hand step while adding the changes below. Reduce performance when used continuously. Increase travel distance when on light equipped load. Shorten the activation interval when using quick step skill in succession. Increase its ability to circle around the enemy when locked on and add the changes below. Reduce performance when used continuously. Increase travel distance when on light equipped load. Decrease the damage and blade buildup of weapon skill Corpse Piler. What? When hit with a blood attack. When hit by the blade, the damage is only decreased slightly. Decrease the target tracking ability of Sorcery Stars of Ruin. So Rivers of Blood Guys has had a nerf it seems. Can't wait to get on and test this thing. Okay, so bug fixes. Fix their bug which caused some attacks of Lucerne to not pierce enemy's guard. Fix their bug which made it harder for a two-handed jump attack with Bloodhound's Fang to break enemy's stance. Fix their bug which caused the effect of Determination and Royal Knight's Resolve to disappear after using the parry skill with a dagger. Fix their bug when dual wielding axe and great axe which caused additional effects from spells weapon skills and items to not be applied correctly. Fix their bug when to hand in a halberd, which made it harder to withstand enemy's attack after using guard counter. Fix their bug which caused the physical attack affinity of some weapons to be different from the affinity listed in the description. Fix their bug which caused the player to become more easily noticed by the enemy when wearing deathbed dress, even when crouching. Fix their bug which caused charge attack with flail to damage ally character when wearing deathbed dress. Fix their bug that caused HP to regenerate when switching your equipment to certain type of armor. Fix their bug where the effect added to the weapon upon using the mist of slumber was lost when a player received an attack. Fix their bug which caused a playable character's movement to become unstable upon hitting certain enemies with the skill Ghost Flame Ignition. Fix their bug which prevented player from using the Queen's Black Flame skill. Follow up attack when performing the skill with insufficient FP. Fix their bug with the weapon skill Zamora Storm, which allowed player to more easily withstand enemy attack when using the skill with insufficient FP. Fix their bug which caused the effect of spells and items added to right hand armament 
to occur when using certain weapons with left hand. Fixed air bug which caused FP consumption description of certain weapon skills to be different from its actual FP cost. Fixed air bug that allows Rock Blaster to not consume any FP when used with a staff on the left hand and no weapon on the right hand. Fixed air bug which caused the charged version of Black Flame Ritual to consume the same amount of stamina as the normal version. Fixed air bug which caused the player to receive less HP recovery from incantations and items other than Flask of Crimson Tears when activating the effect of Millennia's Great Rune. Fixed air bug which caused the Opaline Hard Tier to not boost physical damage negation. Fixed air bug which prevented the player from jumping mid-air while riding under specific conditions. Fixed air bug which allowed jump attack with colossal weapons while mounted to hit twice consecutively. Fixed air bug which caused some signs to appear more than once in the summoning pool. Fixed air bug which caused the effect of some weapon skills attack to persist under specific circumstances. Fixed air bug which sometimes caused significant performance issue of Ordina liturgical town under certain circumstances. Fixed air bug which prevented the player from picking up drop runes upon death under certain circumstances. Fixed air bug which allowed users to reach an accessible area during multiplayer. Fixed air bug which caused the multiplayer area to have different boundaries than expected. Fixed air bug that causes some enemies to have incorrect visual and behaviours. Fixed air bug that caused incorrect sounds to be played under certain circumstances. Fixed air bug which caused some areas to make the player unable to move which led to death. Fixed air bug that caused some places on the map to have incorrect visuals and hitboxes. Fixed air bug in some maps that allowed users to reach unexpected locations using certain procedures. Fixed air bug with the PC version which caused click input to occur when equipping staves and sacred seals and switching windows to active other performance improvements and bug fixes and other added the error text to unauthorized items and lastly they say in update 1.04 we have fixed a bug that allowed players to pass unauthorized items that cannot be obtained in game to other players after the distribution of this file possession and usage of these uh, unauthorized items will be subject to warning or penalty after a certain period of time and there we have it guys so when you next log on to Arden Ring there's either going to be an update waiting for you or it will already have been installed that will be update 1.06 and these are the changes that come with this update biggest one for me here though is definitely the rivers of blood receiving the nerf but how bad is that nerf we have to test it and find out but there we have it guys Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.